Well, first off, <clears throat> congratulations to Ole Miss. They played very well. It was a great environment. Um, hard fought, hard fought ball game. Um, yes, I've lost my voice. So, um, again, they, they pitched, we pitched. Um, they made some defensive plays, and uh, we made a few miscues. And we got to be ready to regroup and go after a very, very good Southern Miss team tomorrow. Questions? Please use the hand raise feature here on Zoom. Uh, Aslan, we'll start with you. Do you, do you say anything about the the error that Nander made to the team well, after the game, or, or do you just flush it? I mean, not even mention it and just move on. No, he, I mean, he feels bad enough. You don't bring anything like that up. You know, it's um, it's part of the game. You, you learn from it. The more times you're out there, the better off you are. And uh, so, no. Aslan, you can go again if you have another. Uh, to uh, sub out and pinch hit for Nander in the ninth, do you think Nander was just shook from from the player? Was it an analytics thing and you just thought that, um, you know, Wyatt or whoever else was a better option? Yeah, I mean, everything is based upon that. And this splits or Broadway splits are pretty distinct and left-handers have a better shot. Kurt. You, you've got to turn around and play and I think like 16 or so hours. And I guess, how do you kind of talk to the team after a loss that played out like that with kind of such a quick turnaround? I, Kurt, you're going to have to repeat that. Somebody's got music going and. It's in the stadium. So I think it might be me. Um, how with, with the game, I'll talk louder with the game pretty quick. I think you got 16 hours or so till the next game. What do you kind of say to the team after a loss like that, where, I mean, you're right there, you do so many things well enough to win and come up short with a quick turnaround. Yeah, you just, again, you got to do like we've tried to do all year. Let's flush it, go and move on, uh, learn from things, get your rest, hydrate, make sure you eat and, you know, be ready to go, you know, and there's nothing you can do. We got to go. We got to keep pushing. Are there any more questions for coach? Aslan, I guess uh, does Isaiah give you something to think about uh, tomorrow? Uh, I guess he gave you guys a nice little pop and lift. Is he somebody that uh, is probably going to be part of your plans for tomorrow? Yeah, you remember when he got hit in the face? It was against the right hander, so there's still that, you know, psychological thing. So when we feel like, you know, the left hander, the matchup is right, then you know he'll be in there. Kurt. I mean, obviously, Bryce, I mean, put you in a position tonight. I guess what can you say about how he, like Parker the night before, handled kind of his first experience of this action and the pitching staff as a whole? I guess you've got to feel somewhat confident about what they've given you through two games, knowing you got to win three more now. Sure. You know, anytime you can run out guys like we can, you know, it's a good thing. And, you know, all the guys did their job and, um, you know, we've got more. We, you know, we're, we're made for, you know, a lot of ball games and uh, we go deep and, you know, we're going to. Yeah. Ready to go. Brett. How much did you like how Davis threw the ball in the late innings there and how important it, how important was it for him to give you those extra innings um, in, in this format? Yeah, he, he threw the ball great. You know, he wasn't overthrowing. He was sinking it, sliding it, throwing the splitter for strikes and burying it when he needed to bury it. And, um, you know, he gave us exactly what we were looking for and we felt like we had some matchups in there that we really liked and he executed and I was dang proud of him.